Hello everyone! I have been waiting for this watch for a very long time, since I made the pre-order six months ago. Uh, the delivery was planned by the end of December, but it was delayed like it can happen most of the times with other micro brands. This uh, is my first experience with the Zillow's brand watch, and a lot of watch enthusiasts online are praising this company for the quality. I was very glad uh, to be informed every time about all the delays directly by the owner, Elshan, who also answered all my requests very quickly. And he also proved to be outstanding in case of te technical problems. Uh, the first helmsman that Zillow sent me was faulty, uh, it was losing even 45 seconds every hour. So Elshin decided to send me uh, another one, which is this one in the video. And now the faulty one will go back to Singapore uh, without any extra costs for me. He even refunded me the customs fee that I paid for the second delivery. So, long story short, he is a great guy standing behind his company. But let's get closer to the Hamspun 2. So this time, in this video review, I'm using these white gloves, uh, only because I, I was very uh, upset every time I was watching uh, the videos uh, in the post-production uh, about all the fingerprints left on the watches. So this is the reason why I'm using these white gloves now. When I made the pre-order, I was dreaming especially about the bronze case, since I didn't have a bronze watch back then. In the meanwhile, I also bought the Christopher Ward Trident Bronze, and if you still haven't seen my review about that watch, you should take a look. So that wow effect related to the case material has faded a little bit. Box and accessories quality isn't a deal breaker when you're thinking about getting a watch, of course. But it's always nice when you receive something like this. Uh, in this case, you can find uh, this outer box made of cardboard. Then there is um, the wooden box, very good and very nice with the logo on it. And then inside of this wooden box, you can find this leather pouch. In the leather pouch, there is the watch with uh, a rubber strap, a leather strap, a strap strap changing tool and uh, the warranty card which is made of bronze. The Zillow's Helmsman 2 is a compressor style diver with an internal rotating bezel that can be set with a crown at 2 o'clock position. Uh, this detail is connected with what is probably the most striking detail as soon as you look at the watch. The depth of the dial is amazing. You start from the bezel layer which is on the outside and on the upper level. Then there is uh, the level with the uh, hour markers uh, and the indexes are applied. And then there is the inner part, uh, which is uh, even deeper, uh, with this very subtle circular finish that you can see in some light condition. Every single detail is outstanding. You can also see this rim uh, between those two layers of the dial. The golden hands have polished finish and they share the same design with uh, the hands installed on the Zillow's hammerhead. Uh, both um, hands and indexes and even the bezel are covered with uh, Superluminova BGW9 so uh, it glows wonderfully at night uh, maybe it's not super strong, but the effect is really outstanding. The case has a peculiar design, especially on the sides where there are these grooves, uh, both on the left side and on the crown side, the right one. The brush finish is exceptional, uh, while the, the polish finish uh, is not so consistent. Um, probably is related with the material, bronze material, um, but um, there are some spots where uh, the polish, mirror polish finish uh, is not as good as in other spots. I'm really curious to see how it will be with oxidation. The crowns with the central logo filled with Superluminova are conical shaped and they work flawlessly and smooth. Uh, but uh, in my perso personal opinion, I would have liked them more with a bigger diameter, so that they would have been easier to screw in with the thumbs. 
I'm not saying anything special about the movement, since it is a workhorse made by Seiko, the NH35 movement, um, which is installed in many other watches by Seiko and by other micro brands. Of course, as I said uh, at the beginning of this video review, I had some problems with the first watch sent to me by Zillus, but this can happen with every other micro brands and every other watches. The stainless steel case back is cool, with the boat wheel and the Zillow's logo in the center. You can also find the number of uh, the watch, uh, even though I don't think this is a limited uh, edition model. Probably this is just uh, the batch number. The strap buckle is very nice, with a small logo etched on it, and it has this cut on the sides. Now you can see this uh, Synod strap installed, which I think is perfect for uh, the look of this watch. And this Steinart strap with 22mm lug size uh, is perfect also with the original, uh, the original buckle. I'm not too impressed with the quality of the rubber strap provided with the watch, uh, but probably it's just my problem, while the leather strap looks very good, but the problem is that it looks very new for this kind of watch, so that's why I decided to put this Steinart strap. The Zillus, this Zillus is not huge, the diameter is 42mm, uh, lug to lug is 48mm and the thickness is 13.5mm. Uh, so it means that it can be perfect also on smaller wrists, it's not too bulky at all. In conclusion, I think that this uh, Zillus Helmsman 2 is a very high quality watch, even considering a couple of really minor flaws, uh, which are um, the, portion, the polished portions of the case and the rubber strap, at least in my opinion. I think that the design is extremely interesting and the dial is awesome, a real magnet for your eyes. I hope that you liked this review, let me know in the comments. If you don't want to lose my next videos, please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can find the link down in the description. Thanks for watching, see you soon in the next video, ciao!